For centuries, the popular Victorian Green Gables Inn sits along Ocean Boulevard in Pacific Grove. It's left an impression on both the young and old. Word of some major changes, though, to the iconic house caught people's attention. And KION's Lisa Montgomery takes us inside for a look at those changes and tells us why so many people say this house means so much to them. Trying to book a night at the Green Gables Inn takes patience because reservations are booked far out in advance. It's a gem on the peninsula and people know about it. Everybody that grew up here, I grew up here and I've always known this place was here. Local resident and general manager Amy Wheeler considers the house an icon. The property is located on the edge of Monterey Bay's rocky coastline with spectacular views. The favored Victorian home was built in the late 1800s by an amateur architect from Los Angeles. The longtime family home has had several proud owners over the years. The last family who purchased it converted it into a bed and breakfast in 1983. Thankfully, this place has been kept up the way it's been, you know, for over 100 years. And these are the same walls, these are the same maple floors. A lot of the Victorians around here, they eventually have to start not knocking down walls, redoing things. It's careful preservation may be why Green Gables Inn garners the interest and love of so many people near and far. Over the past year, the historic home underwent an extensive renovation. We wanted to give it a more refreshed look, really highlight the location, and the goal was to honor the architecture of the building. However, many locals were concerned its charm would be lost. The unveiling of its renovation drew in a packed house. Returning guests say the Green Gables Inn hasn't lost its historical value or charm. I think it's really amazing that they um, respected the history of the place and um, still made it modern. I think they did it in a very tasteful way. They've modernized an iconic home. The architecture is still intact, but they've been able to highlight very specific things that make this place special. The changes include bringing the outside in, according to Collins, who has been staying here as a guest for the last six years. The first time that we stayed, you know, I thought it was charming. You've got like this kind of history, you've got the quirkiness, and so now to see it after in its glory, it just feels cozy and comfortable. Pacific Grove is such a historical town. There's so much history all around you when you're walking down the street. You get to see who originally bought what house and what year. And local say with so much of the history here being torn down in recent times, the city's making way for condos and hotels. It's refreshing to see some pieces are still being preserved. So not to forget a certain time and way of life here in America's last hometown. In Pacific Grove, Lisa Montgomery, News Channel 46. We love our butterfly town. Green Gables is currently owned by Roger and Sally Post. They purchased that home again in 1971, raised their four daughters there until 1983 when they turned it into the bed and breakfast that it is today. Stay with us. We'll be back.